Hey creative friends, welcome to this art journal tutorial. We'll be creating with Ranger ink today, so I hope you enjoy it. You can find a complete list of supplies on the Ranger blog. So I'm starting with Archival Ink and Dina Wakely's For the Love of Circles text stamp on watercolor paper. And I'm just stamping that around the paper just to create some visual texture. Now I have not just of this paper because today I'm going for some watercolor effects. For the next step, we'll use Dina's Best Heart Stencil and Distress Glaze. Now what we're doing is creating a resist with a Distress Glaze so we can come back with our scribble sticks and use them like watercolor. So I'll take my ink blending tool, add some Distress Glaze to it, wipe a little bit off on my sheet, and then apply it to the paper. Now I'm applying it through the stencil lightly, and it won't create a complete resist, but it'll be a partial resist. Some of the color will go into it, but most of it will not. It's a really cool effect. Next, take a wet paintbrush and pick color up off the chosen colors of scribble sticks. I'm using a mix of blues. I also have cheddar and marine. And with those colors, we'll create a gradient working from dark to light toward the center. I'm trying to keep that white center area of the paper. I want it to be nice and bright and white, but I want to also bring that color down. So dark to light is a great way to do that and sort of fade it into the middle. Now I'll go straight over the distress glaze, but I'm going to pick a little bit of that color back up with my tissue. We can repeat the same process on the bottom corner of the page. Now you might notice I'm picking up color from a different area besides the scribble sticks you see, and that's because I put all of my scribble sticks into a watercolor palette, little chunks of them so I can use them like watercolors. It's very convenient and very fun to do. As we paint directly over the distress glaze, you can see the scribble stick beat up rather than soak into the paper. That's the part that I'm just going to tap off. I'll just use a tissue and pick that straight up off the distress glaze. The distress glaze will stay but the scribble stick will lift off. So you can see I have some color where the distress glaze is, but there's definitely a heart shape there. Now let's work on a focal point. So I got out my Collage Collective book from Dina Wakely, and I'm flipping through just to find something that I think will work with this page and my sentiment that I already have cut out from the tissue paper, which is stay curious. And I felt like this hand would be perfect. So I cut that out tried not to be too fussy, but I did go between the fingers so that you can see the background around the hand. Now that that's done, I'll look at placement, trying it in different places. I'm thinking of staying curious, a hand reaching for something that you're interested in. I feel curiosity is such an important part of creating and art journaling, and I always want to encourage myself and others to explore. So staying curious, reaching for those things that we're interested in is a great concept to just sort of grasp onto. So after trying my focal point in my text in different places, I've landed on a configuration where the hand is in the bottom left, reaching toward, say, the sky or something like that. And I just needed to trim off the edge so that it would fit on my paper. I chose one of the thick pages in the Collage Collective book, so I want to use ultra thick gel medium to place it on my page to avoid wrinkling and curling up and all of that kind of thing. But since the sentiment is on the thin paper, I can use Dina Wakely's gel medium for that. So just squeeze it on the paper, spread it out with a palette knife, put your tissue down, and use your palette knife right over the top. Super easy, super fun. Next, I'll use my Uniball Signo to just do a little bit of art journaling on the page, just sharing my thoughts about staying curious, exploring, playing with art, and really how much I love it. And of course, I almost always have to have splattering on my page. I just love that so much. So I scribbled my scribble stick onto my palette and picked some of that up with my wet paintbrush, added some water, nice and loose and juicy, and just splattered it right onto my page. Yep, so fun, yes. And now I'll wrap up this journal page by adding a little bit of shadow around the hand focal point. I'm using my Stabilo All pencil and then I will wet it a little bit just to activate it and make it move and add a nice shadow. 
And that's it. We are finished. We've created a fun and easy journal page. So I hope you'll try it. Check out the tutorial on Ranger blog. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you soon.